If you think that it only once a day cause muscle loss then malnutrition or maybe make you sick by triggering your acid reflux. This is what will happen if you only eat once a day for 30 days. Hi healthy peeps, welcome back to our lovely channel Triple H How to be happy and healthy With me, Dr. Hans, nutritionist and working in a functional medicine Now I'm gonna tell you about what happens if you only once a day for 30 days So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about like, um, you guess it, fasting Or maybe like uh, everyone like uh, call it about one meal a day which is fasting, pretty sure that you have been heard about it a lot if you are talking about fasting with OMET maybe it could be like a 24 or maybe 22 and 2 which is this fasting, uh, I also do it after 7 or maybe like a now get into the year 8 I've been doing this so far so I guess like I can share you a lot of things by my experience or also about like the medical research so far about fasting. But before that, I'm pretty sure as well that you have been heard about like oh, why should we do fasting? Because our ancestor has been practicing or maybe like uh, we are not designed to be it like uh, in every three hours or maybe like every two hours you're looking for like a low fat Marvin or maybe a low fat pancake or maybe like a carrot juice, orange juice in every an hour. <laughs> of course not. Because what? Because like um, our body not designed to be like that. We have to follow like our ancestor which like hundred or maybe thousand years ago much healthier than our society right now so i don't want to compare with 30 or 40 years because i think it has been disrupted with the with the population with the technology with the food industry and stuff and i'm gonna tell you about one more thing that has been like a misconception a lot these days is about like a calorie restrictions I'm sure that you ever you often heard about it and I'm gonna say sure which fasting is not about calorie restrictions trust me if you're looking the calorie restriction benefit from fasting I think you will be disappointed because that's not the main purpose of fasting so what's the main purpose okay ready I'm gonna show you about the timeline of fasting that what will you get in every stage of your fasting the first thing i'll divide it into three stages which is uh, what i'm gonna tell you now is 24 hours fasting if you're interested in like a prolonged fasting like 48 hours or 72 hours or maybe even longer i'll share about you uh, i share i'll share to you in the next video in the uh another video about like prolonged fasting but in this video i'm gonna share to you about like the benefit of doing one meal a day by doing like 20 or 22 hours of fasting but what will happen if you do fasting for 12 hours which is i think it's not that hard for me or maybe you have another opinion you can share in the comment below so what will happen in 12 hours fasting firstly you will spike your growth hormone which is the growth hormone or human growth hormone naturally is produced in our body many of you maybe think that it's like a injection but no our body can produce it naturally by what many things one of the strongest is fasting and even stronger than doing physical exercise so many people like trying to get human growth hormone spike by doing exercise vigorous exercise intense exercise yes it does spike your growth hormone but fasting do it way higher then second thing is get like anti-aging effect again it could from growth hormone and could from the antioxidant that we spike 
to get like a skin rejuvenation, to get like a, our collagen production from our liver and stuff. Then you will get the fat burning effect as well. Another that you can get like a joint healing because many people nowadays got like a joint issue, like a osteoarthritis, then like another arthritis. Then you will get the protein synthesis effect, which is the muscle protein synthesis. So if you think that like what I mentioned earlier about catabolism or muscle muscle loss actually you can prevent it because like when you spike your growth hormone you will have that muscle sparing protein by doing the muscle protein synthesis to prevent the catabolism in your muscle so what will happen if you make it longer now 18 hours well i think you ever heard about autophagy as well Yes, and this is what I'm looking for. I think like the, the best benefit of fasting, you will kick in into the autophagy when you can create your fasting to 18 hours. Well, I think like uh, in the, it need like a little bit more effort, especially for you that like uh, you don't get used into fasting, but I know that you can do it as well, just like me uh, in this like, seven eight years until now and also you will reduce the ages so ages stand of advanced glycation and products which is this is like uh, the substance that can clog your arteries that can create like uh, arteriosclerosis uh, then can create like uh, another like uh, oxidative stress as well because what happened when you have like a lot of ages it will make like a caramelization in your artery your your blood being like a very thick then it will like make a blood clot in your arteries anyway it's not good for your health especially your cardiovascular health and your brain because it can create your amyloid plaque which is it can tend to alzheimer disease yeah it's like um also known as diabetes type 3 right now but anyway the the best the best effect i'm looking for actually is for autophagy which is autophagy you can like a uh, many benefits like uh, by recycling your damaged protein making your new protein the good one and it can give you to that many various benefit of your health so what will happen if you make it like a uh, longer which is it get into 24 if you can't get into 24, at least like are you doing like a one meal a day, just like what I share in this video. So maybe like a 20 hours, 22 hours, so you just only eat once a day. So if you can touch into the 24 hours or maybe like a, um, two hours before that, you will get many, many of benefits, which is you will reduce your fatty liver, which is fatty liver is like the most common issue of our environment right now fatty liver non-alcoholic fatty liver disease especially because it used to be like a uh, people have fatty liver from alcoholic but now no they got it from what non-alcoholic which is too much carbohydrates then the second thing is ketones yes many people think that our fuel is only glucose but that's not the fact because ketones is also the another fuel that we can use in our body especially when we do fast because we really deplete our glycogen storage in our liver then it will turn into ketones for our main fuel to do our activity yeah daily activity and also exercise if you do exercise then it will also reduce your appetite so the more frequent you eat the more frequent you get hungry the less frequent you eat the less frequent you get hungry that's why because what because ketone can suppress your hunger as well then it can increase your focus it can increase your endogenous antioxidant that produced by your body especially your liver because it can reduce your fatty liver as well and last but not least it can reduce your inflammation which is inflammation is like i think the most common issue in our health issue 
right now. Just like arthritis, uh, like I mentioned before, then sinusitis, then osteoarthritis, then many things. Just anything with is, it is, is like a inflammation that happen in your body. Anyway, what is the benefit that will that you will get when you do fast, especially one meal a day in this context? Benefits that will you get is firstly fat loss. Obviously, so it's not only weight loss, but also fat loss, specifically on your body fat content. Then you will get normal blood pressure as well. So uh, not too high and not too low because like a too high or too low blood pressure is not good. So you will get like a normal blood pressure when you do like a one meal a day. No hunger or craving, even craving, because hungry and craving is two different things and you will like eliminate both of them if you do one meal a day. You will get good focus. You will be more patient. You will like uh, get like a less mood swing. And also you will decrease your insulin resistance, which is this one is like uh, the root cause of many metabolic syndromes. Just name it, diabetes, arteriosclerosis, uh, then like autoimmune. Even it it will it will get better if you if you if you got like a um, better insulin level in your in your body in your in your blood especially. But the thing that I want to emphasize as well is not only fasting because like uh, many people do fast and yeah they 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 told me my patient told me like uh, I I got a lot of benefit but. Uh, I think it's not my expectation. I, I haven't met my expectation because, like, a, I haven't reduced my my body fat. I still got like a, some some health issue and stuff. Because what? It's not only about only fasting, but what you eat, when you eat, is also important. Well, it's still better than you do grazing or like uh, eating in every two hours, three hours. But I want you to get the optimal result by what? By paying attention to what you eat as well. So what you eat, when you eat, it's also very, very important. And if you are watching this video until this, I want you to know that what you need to eat when you break your fast, especially for one meal a day. First thing I want to tell you about like uh, what you need to eat is nutrient dense food. Yes, because nutrient and calories are two different things. What is nutrient dense food? The first nutrient that you need to take is macronutrients, which is this one is a building block, the material, the raw material that your body needs, such as fat, protein, carbs, uh, yeah, all that contain calories, you know it. Then second thing is micronutrients, which is this one is a worker, the worker of your building block, which is vitamin, mineral, just name it vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K1, K2, then copper, potassium, iodine, phosphor, and etc. All is a work. All of them are the workers. Now has been studied a lot about these things, which is phytonutrients. And yes, maybe this is not the essential nutrition like a micronutrients and macronutrients that I mentioned before, but these phytonutrients has many benefits in your body as well, such as it act as antioxidants, it act as anti-inflammatory, as I mentioned before, and it can regulate your immune system as well. So the example of phytonutrients that has been studied a lot is sulforaphane, resveratrol from grapes, quercetin, catechins, and etc. So I think you need to pay attention more if you have paid attention uh, to your macro and micronutrients. Maybe it's like uh, your new homework or new challenge by paying attention to your phytonutrients. So I want you to know about like uh, how to do it as well, because uh, only theory without, without practical tips, I think it's just useless, right? So I want you to know, I want you to, to share you about how to do it because I'm doing it as well until now. So. 
the first thing that I always encourage my patient to do like a fasting, especially one meal a day, we talk about it. First, start it gradually. Don't push yourself too much. Don't force yourself to do like a, if I can do it, you can do it. It's bullshit. Trust me. You, you, you have a different journey to me because like, uh, I've been doing this for seven to eight years until now. So I think I started it gradually as well from, uh, as I remember, 14 hours, but you can start it from 12 hours or maybe even easier by reducing your eating frequency. Yeah, reducing your eating frequency, it will help you, trust me. So don't go for like a 20 hours or 22 hours directly. Start it gradually. Number two, reduce or eliminate the ultra processed food. Yes, highly processed food, ultra processed food. Again, it's not about calories, trust me. When you eat highly processed food or ultra processed food, it will disrupt your hormonal balance which is it can create hunger, it can create craving, and it can like uh, make your body like a uh, lost your natural signal. I'm sure you, you don't want it happen to your body. And last but not least is fix your sleep pattern, which is I'm not talking only about the duration, but also about the quality of your sleep. And if you want me to like a talk about sleep more, how to improve your sleep quality, you can comment it below and I will share you in the next video. But in this video, I think like a, this is all that you can do to create the benefit of one meal a day or like about the intermittent fasting. Thank you, stay fit and stay healthy.